see my eyes? Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 times Coraline fueled our nightmares. You're not my mother. Did she do this to you? You're in terrible danger, girl. For this list, we'll be looking at those moments that prove Coraline is a gloriously twisted animated film. Which animated film do you find the scariest? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Other Mother Creates Coraline Coraline wastes no time in introducing audiences to its unsettling stop-motion-fueled horror. Huh. A little me? That's weird. Backed by a haunting tune that serves as a great sample of the movie's overall soundtrack, the opening scene follows the other mother's mechanical hands as she transforms a doll of a girl into one of Coraline. The scene shows the procedure in detail, and the opening speaks volumes to Beldum's persona, despite only showing the villain's hands. Ripping the insides out of the doll en route to rendering it a featureless shell, the other mother then surgically stitches together her next victim. I'm way too old for dolls. Number 9. Other Mother Gives Coraline to Three They say even the proudest spirit can be broken with love. Although peppered with creepy moments throughout, Coraline bides its time before fully exposing the nightmarish entity at the heart of the other world. By the time Coraline finds herself stuck in a bug-themed room watching Other Mother feast upon cocoa beetles, however, the veil masking the other world's terror has been completely destroyed. The only thing remaining is for the Other Mother to reveal the darkness underneath, which is a moment made all the more memorable by a countdown. I'll give you to the count of three. All of Other Mother's forms are unnerving, but this transformation stands out for just how quickly it renders Coraline powerless. You may come out when you've learned to be a loving daughter. Number 8. Other YB Will Smile No Matter What Coraline finds the real YB to be a bit too talkative, but the Otherworld version of the character is actually mute. I thought you'd like him more if he spoke a little less, so I fixed him. So he can't talk at all? The other YB is instantly zapped of any agency by the other mother, as the alternate version is nothing more than a tool to lure Coraline into a false sense of security. When the other YB momentarily frowns, the other mother immediately squashes the small act of rebellion by stitching a smile onto the character. Did she do this to you? The other YB's crude grin is heartbreaking and horrifying creating sympathy for a doppelganger who sadly never utters a single word. Oh, YB. Number 7. Other Father Becomes a Pumpkin Would you go fetch your father? I bet he's hungry as a pumpkin by now. Cleverly foreshadowed earlier on in the movie, in this moment, Other Father transforms from a likable parent with buttons for eyes to a malformed pumpkin with human body parts. This immaculately crafted design might inspire some to think twice before entering a pumpkin patch, but this scene's brilliance goes beyond just the visuals. Throughout the entire ordeal, Other Father pleads with Coraline for forgiveness while stating that Other Mother is pulling his strings. Sorry. With other father's slurred speech, these ingredients combine to create a moment that is not just intense, but also haunting. Vegas. Number 6. Bat Dogs and the Taffy Monster Are those dogs real? Ah, oh, sweet departed angels. As April Spink and Miriam Forcible are already an odd pair in the real world, their other versions have a lot to live up to. When things begin to crumble in the other world, Coraline returns to the theater to find a massive candy wrapper waiting on stage and bat dogs in attendance. In a well-paced sequence, the wrapper reveals itself to be home to other Spink and Forcible, who've been transformed into a taffy monster that shrieks like a desperate banshee. <laughs> Although the encounter does not last long, the Taffy Monster and Bat Dogs are so weird and unnatural that they still leave a lasting impression. Number 5. Coraline vs. Other Mother's Hand Please shut it! After just barely managing to escape the Beldam, Coraline heads out to the well to throw away the key to the other world. 
I gotta hide this somewhere. Unfortunately for the protagonist, nothing is ever simple, as Coraline finds herself in a struggle for survival against a disembodied hand. The beldam's spidery body part stalks Coraline through the nearby woods before launching into a final desperate attack. The hand's movements are skin-crawlingly creepy, and its attack on Coraline is the most vicious in the movie. The hand is a creature backed into a corner, and it's ready to kill its way out. <laughs> Number four, the ghost children. Who's there? Hush and shush, for the Bell Dam might be listening. The Bell Dam did not suddenly decide to start stealing souls after taking a liking to Coraline. The villain has been collecting souls for quite a while, as illustrated by the three ghost children that Coraline meets during her timeout session. Gave all that we asked, yet we still wanted more. So we let her sew the buttons. Being victims like her, they try to help Coraline during her struggle for survival, but that does not make them any less terrifying to behold. The children's backstories are the stuff of nightmares and establish them as sympathetic characters, while their spooky designs ensure Coraline's timeout does not translate into a lull in the horror. You're in terrible danger, girl. Number three, the rats. I don't like rats at the best of times. While first introduced as cute mice and an extension of Babinski's circus performers, the rats reveal their true forms after a bite from the cat. Gangly and sickly, the film's rats are massive, disgusting, and well choreographed. While the cat easily disposes of a single rat, the other Babinski's army of rodents proves to be a touch more challenging. Is this what you're looking for? After the other Babinski goes from a sprightly circus master to a suit filled with rats, Coraline gets up close and personal with one of the beasts, and we discovered that mesophobia is not required to fear these rats. I think I mentioned that I don't like rats at the best of times. Number two, Other Mother offers Coraline buttons. You're not my mother. My mother doesn't have b -b 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 buttons. <laughs> From the outside looking in, it's obvious the other world is not truly a magical wonderland filled with roast chicken and stunning gardens. But Coraline takes a while to catch on. You could stay here forever, if you want to. It's only when the Bell Dam presents the protagonist with buttons designed to replace eyes that Coraline begins to see the truth. Considering everyone in the other world has buttons, the Bell Dam's request is not surprising, but that does not make the sequence any less unsettling. This scene marks the point when cracks first begin to form in the Bell Dam's loving mother act. No way! You're not sewing buttons in my eyes! Before we unveil the creepiest number one pick, here are a few honorable mentions. The theater, because sometimes strangely comical is heavy on the strange. Our lives for the theater, April. April Spink and Miriam Forcible, because these two can turn tea or taffy into tools of terror. Oh, Caroline, 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 you are in terrible danger. Other Father's Song, because this jaunty tune foreshadows sinister plans. When she comes around it's boring mom and I will never ever make it boring, our eyes will be on Coraline. Other Mother's First Appearance, because Other Mother's reassuring form is still really creepy. What are you doing here in the middle of the night? You're just in time for supper, dear. Hey! Want more Mojo? Ms. Mojo produces original, high-quality, pop culture-related videos on all your favorite movies and shows. Plus, celebrity news, fashion, lifestyle, and more. Hey guys, it's Phoebe with Ms. Mojo. My name is Sam. My name is Eliza. And I'm Emily. I'm Rebecca, and welcome to Ms. Mojo. If you want videos on all the best reality shows, teen dramas, Disney movies, and sitcoms, be sure to check out Ms. Mojo for new videos every day. Number one, Other Mother's True Form. So, you're back. Coraline's last-ditch effort to escape from the other world boils down to a string of scenes that outdo each other in the horror department. Just when it seems the other mother could not possibly get scarier, the villain reveals herself to be a hideous spider-like creature that inspires a whole new set of nightmares. Where are you? You selfish rat! From the moment Coraline uses the cat as a projectile to eliminate the Bell Dam's button eyes, the film achieves a level of ghastly brilliance that's tough to beat. Even when Coraline manages to close the door linking the normal and other worlds, the Bell Dam's frantic poundings and screeches continue to echo in the background. Don't leave me! I'll die Do you 
agree with our picks, check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.